Okay. Oh, can this be the last one? The, uh, the topic bar is where do the Cowboys go from here? Michael? Okay, let's address this one last time, children. Let's well, get this out the way. Don't. One last time here. Uh, uh, we'll try to spin it forward as we are, we are trying to do right now. What do you mean they go they, they go on vacation? That's what they're doing right now. They put us on vacation right now. But hopefully, hopefully. I guess football program-wise, <laughs> where, where do the Cowboys go? When we here? get back, when we get back, we got to get, they have to get back to work. And there are a lot of things that they need to sure up. Of course, we saw what happened. But I believe, I believe, that the Cowboys are still in a pretty good position. I think they have to go and revamp that offensive line, try to find that running game again and get – because this offense – Kurt, you and I were talking about this earlier. This offense works better with a run threat. You can control defenses more with a run threat. This is the same offense that, we, that, that I won Super Bowls in, that Kurt won Super Bowls in, uh, uh, Super Bowls with. And, and, and both times you have a running game, and, and, and they need to get a running What do you about Troy, what he said this week in the Metroplex, that if they were playing defense against him and you the same way that the Niners were playing defense against Dak and CD and Amari Cooper, you would have had 12 catches by halftime. I mean, right. I mean, I, honestly, I think, it's, it's, right. it's more than just not being able to protect or get a running game. Right. There is some weird – Weird stuff that happened it did. from from scheme execution, yeah. keeping the the punting unit out there after completing yeah. successfully a fake punt and getting the That's momentum crazy. going your way to what yeah. to extract a five yard penalty yeah. or an extra timeout? Mm -hmm. uh, the threat yeah. of Brian Anger running the ball or throwing it again? I mean, like, what <laughs> there, was there, that about? There are definitely some things that you sit back and you question big picture wise and I know the natural thing to do when you lose a playoff game you lose a playoff game like that is everybody to panic and hey you know let's clean out everything and, and let's make changes across the board I just want to caution everybody I, I think we bought into Michael Irvin's narrative that every year the Cowboys are going to be in the Super Bowl I'm not sure the Cowboys were a Super Bowl team this year they had one of the worst defenses in the league Last year, they made unbelievable improvements. They're still growing. They've got a, a young <laughs> offensive coordinator. They've got a young quarterback that are good at what they do. they got to get better. They've got to get better in the moment at what they're doing. I believe they've got a good young football team. I agree with you. The offensive line a little bit can, can be improved as they get a little bit older. But I think they're in good shape. You clean up, like you talk about, Rich, some of those crazy things that we're talking about. And this team will be back. I believe they just, as long as they continue to improve, they will be on a course to have a chance to go to a Super Bowl a couple of years when, from when now. We, but I, I don't think you panic and, and when, when you clean are. house uh, just because that game didn't play out like you wanted it to. When they asked somewhere in the middle of the season, it's Cowboys oh, come uh, Super Bowl contenders, and you guys said yes, I did not have my hand in your back. Say yes, say yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were, I, you I were, didn't puppet you. Were, you. You were the seer. Hey, you came up with that. You were the seer. You were so the you seer. said you bought into it. Uh, well, you didn't see it. You, you, got, you got great eyes, Kurt. You put them in your Kurt Corner. You told you, you did your thing <laughs> to them. And they were looking good. Warner's they were looking they great. Did, they did look good. But, but my, my point being is they hadn't done anything to say we are a Super Bowl team. They played well. Right. They, they definitely and, had a chance, but they hadn't got to right. that point. And I think we all buy in oftentimes to this Cowboys and, and narrative because this. of America's team. Right. And because you're really loud on this show. And the pain. That, that we and think the, the Cowboys is, are, the are, are going to be in the Super Bowl. Here's the pain. We probably the just had too high of expectations. Here's the pain of it. No team. matter what kind of season they have next year, you can be 17 and 0. Everybody's still going to be so oh, we'll wait, wait to the playoffs. That, that's the pain of it. So next year, I can't get no joy for a full 12 months out well, of this. I mean, because and, and, every, if they started out 8 right. and 0, y'all going to say wait to the playoffs. That's what they don't understand. Understand. I gotta get up here and fight well, this stuff, man. I need the Jones is gotta give us the Jones fight. has already said they're not gonna clean house. I mean, yeah. Stephen Jones gave a vote of confidence to Mike McCarthy, but the rest of the league might clean the house. Because yeah. Dan Quinn, the guy who you gave yeah. his first gig to, Steve, he's the hottest mm, head yes. coaching candidate out there. Yeah, looks Jones like. is, I, I was with Everybody's Jones hot. this week, and I, I just said, hey, you're close. Just keep swinging, man. And then, of course, I listened to the rest of it. He was talking about some things. He addressed the team. But um, to me, you're right. It's not 
right now about the players. It's about the coaches, okay? Because they've got two coordinators, Kellen Moore and Dan Quinn, that are interviewing for jobs, okay? If one or both of those guys get jobs, they don't want to start over on that side of the ball because if, if Dan Quinn gets some uh, gets a job, he might take some of these other coaches. I mean, that would be devastating because they're close and they have to have some continuity, but maybe he needs to pay those guys like he did Jason Garrett and just pay them a lot of money to stay because they got a good thing going on right now. Keep the coaches. Jerry also wasn't happy with Amari Cooper, too. I mean, this is where they're going is just stay the course and then go back again and see how it goes and well, yeah, snap you, cut to this point yeah, next year. Make some decisions, get some new, some new guys in here, you line them up and let's do this again. But you're right, they got to be do. more stubborn with the run. They got to get yeah, more yeah, physical but, but, and but, run but the But it ball. comes down to this. It comes down to this. The stars have to show up when you're playing in a playoff game. That's what Troy was talking about. You got no shot. If your stars don't show up, you can't have that disorder, you well, know, and, 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 and yeah. you just can't have that disorder. Well,